every year between the 25th of November to the 10th of December, commemorations of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence in solidarity with the world at large in eliminating violence against women and girls are held. These commemorations call for a joint effort from governments, citizens, civil society organizations and the private sector to increase awareness and advocacy to stop all forms of violence against women and children. Civic Forum is one of the most active organizations in the communities that is championing <clears throat> a community-driven approach to human rights uh, protection and promotion across 25 districts in Zimbabwe. As the Civic Forum on Human Development, uh, we are very much pleased to be joining the rest of the world in this year campaign on 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, which is running under the theme, Let's Orange the World, Fund, Respond, Prevent and Collect. So in our recent work on human rights, we've been working with the CEDA and IOM. We have been supporting a program on human rights uh, promotion and protection, uh, just to make sure that uh, communities are better supported with information, they are better supported with knowledge, they are also better re represented on policy issues. So uh, during these 16 days, also been active in terms of uh, promoting uh, learning platforms. And you know the significance of learning platforms is that it actually brings diverse experiences and voices on what is happening, what is really happening in the communities. We try to unpack those issues through those voices of communities. So, so, Mm -hmm. 
Eh, so I look at the wish you missing, Jerome Tanoin Casa. My shop at no two cup of Granati Kutura ere, Kanatura am Zmago and Rumuako ere, Mashoquio. Imando Imeji, Imirizoga, gender based violence. Kutura Mukano, Tonga Muako, Jet a Snuffle now with two or 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 what behind the However, as an organization, CFHD faces cultural and religious challenges when engaging these communities to implement development and awareness in terms of gender-based violence issues. <laughs> to ensure that there is dialogue within those communities uh, about which rights are being uh, violated and what is the context of that violation? Is it because of religious beliefs? Is it because of uh, uh, political issues? Is it because of economic issues? So we tend to uh, promote that dialogue so that we are able to understand and the people themselves are able to understand. <laughs> Zimai, she said, she has no right Respect. I'm rights Respect something else. The Civic Forum on Human Development and its development partners held workshops to increase awareness and advocacy to stop all forms of violence against women and girls. We have had a partnership with the uh, Civic Forum on Human Development since the year 2018. We have been implementing 
the gender-based violence program uh, in eight communities with our main focus community being Masendward, where we were doing uh, the Zoom site program. The Zoom site program is where we upscale in terms of capacity building and the programming that we do so that we use the community as a, a learning center for the other communities. We've also held a number of uh, documenting sessions where we're documenting uh, violation cases that we have also submitted to CFHD. Uh, Civic Forum has also assisted us in terms of even uh, the sharing platforms where we meet as uh, partners and share ideas on uh, how we then implement our, our programs. With Civic Forum, we focus mainly on addressing the rights of women, to age women to speak out. Our motto has been, silence is violence. Not to look at any issue of violence as small or unimportant. WICO has also been very active in addressing gender-based violence in the workplace. So we decided that we would go into the workplace and address issues, find out what mechanisms are in place to address anyone who is being violated, to find out what referral pathways exist in each organization so that even if the worker is violated, they are protected. In workshops held in Mutoko, Mutari and Bulilima, several types of gender-based violence were identified, how they occur and where to report them. Anga asina kusununguka, nukuti aigara pambaipa pupu semu, semu toru. 
kana kuti same shandi kana kuti same shanyi ari kude kupfura asi mugurikidzane kuzodzidziswa maringe nezve gender yakasvika pa point yandakazonzwisiswa kuti a mukadzi wangu munhu akangofana naone ani moyo wakangofana naone ani ropa rakangofanana nini our approach has been unique in that we tend to promote what we call the human centered approach to human rights where we want the voices of the affected communities to be amplified especially in the rural areas as you know in rural areas people have been marginalized in terms of understanding their basic rights uh, even their knowledge of the constitution uh, is still uh, is still very low isuzu takadaidzwa kwa mama mumwe umwe abadare tudora the us kuri ku kona mare musi wati daidza washi chine kuti teka tida kanze mo kashika pa kusuti sumidza road rower tika madare dzo kuti mudi chaire kana zvakatodzi guys aiwa hakuna zvakadaro zvo chingopedza week ndakabva tato piso ekadi kichipiriva napiso kuti achikichi kusa zviti kuti shungudzwa ba iku no <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Dog and the remember is a better policy to do. I am victim friendly youths. Eight master, I Sema place takaenda kuma police. The other fate in the kuti varume vari kushungurudzwa nditi ka. Akaenda kuma police onza ha. Plus saka kuti makaro vane mukadzi pamakakura ipapa. Uri kuona. So hana futi courage yekunodimba. Uri kuona. Yekuno report a case yake kuma police. So I think the best way ndiye kuti tive ne direct contact nechi nema organization ano fighter against gender based violence. From these workshops, several action plans were put forward by the community members. So I think it is a plan of action. I think the first step. Village meetings. Atu wa mganai. Amwe zipa shonu pa gore. Tuka mina se indoro zisko. Amwe chika mwe. Once a month. Ita masoto of exchange program. Zino zino batira. Kuti wano wano gwenye zote. Once communities have come up with these plans, we also help to strengthen capacity building at various levels within the communities themselves, but at the level of stakeholders. Uh, we also help in terms of establishing referral pathways. So referral pathways, uh, normally these actually help communities to reach out. These plans will set uh, in motion a set of activities that will be implemented uh, from today until we celebrate the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence.
in 2021, which will also give us an opportunity to reflect and refine on some of the progress that we, we would be making in addressing issues of gender-based violence. Uh, we are also thankful uh, and grateful to the support we have been receiving from the Swedish Development Agency, uh, CIDA, and the International Organization on Migration, uh, IOM. We have been rendering us uh, support, financial and technical, uh, in the implementation of all our activities on 16 days of activism uh, against gender-based violence.